Okay, so let's play some time using the brushes. Now, uh, the left hand, again thinking of the drum head as a face of a clock, let's start rotating the left hand in a circle, one revolution per pulse, uh, around seven or eight o'clock here. One, two, three, four. Now notice that I'm moving the brush with a kind of elbow and, and shoulder motion as opposed to articulating from the wrist. If I were to only use the wrist, it would change the brush to head uh, attitude, I guess you could say. So you get that effect. So rather, I want a nice, smooth, consistent cushion or pad. So I move a little bit more of the uh, arm here to get that going. One, two, three, four. Now, if I add the right hand going in the opposite direction, doing the same thing, let's say around two o'clock, it sounds like this. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Each brush is at the top of the rotation on every beat. Now it sounds smooth, but it doesn't provide a whole lot of rhythmic information to the rest of the band. Even if I add a hi-hat, three, four, one, two, three. That's a little too subtle for, for most musical situations. So let's add some articulation and, and let's give some rhythmic information by means of using the right hand. Um, I saw Ed Shaughnessy in, in a clinic a couple years back, and, and Ed put it very well. He said, basically, with most brush rhythms, if you can play that rhythm with the right hand, the right brush alone, uh, that's pretty much most of, 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 the, of the game plan right there. And then the left hand just kind of provides a cushion or dampens the, the, the drum head. Um, I like to involve the left hand a little bit more, but, but Ed's advice is, is good. So, uh, before we start playing the ride cymbal pattern, like that, uh, let's start with just a simpler quarter note pulse. So, we go from the circle, three, four, we lift the brush and bring it back down on every beat. Now we have a quarter note pulse. One, Fairly primitive sounding, but okay, it works. Now, to make it a bit more legato and to still have rhythmic point or information, I'm going to try to leave the brush on the head a little bit longer. So I pull it around and then I snap it down for the articulation. So now we're getting into Fred Astaire territory here. It's like a tap dancer brings his shoe across the floor. So, we're getting rhythmic articulation and we're getting a little bit more texture now. Let's complete the picture by playing the ride cymbal pattern, which is a quarter note and a relaxed triplet. Now, this brings us to a very important point. When I play any uh, subdivision or rhythm with a brush, uh, notice that I'm not articulating like I would with a drumstick. I'm not going one, two, three, four. Rather, I play using the brush I come in with a glancing kind of motion. Why? Because this gives me texture. We play staccato with sticks. I mean, we can do it with brushes. But 
the whole point is to get this texture to play a nice wide beat. And as soon as you're done articulating, then the brush goes back into the service of playing the swirl or the cushion. Right hand alone. Put the two together. That's a nice beat. It would give a band all the rhythm information it needs to play a ballad. Let's make it a little more musical. I'm moving the brush around a little bit more on the head, doing an over under kind of thing. Essentially the same movement as before, just taking advantage of the real estate on the drum. Head. see you in the next segment uh, take some of this a little bit further mm -hmm.